what's going on to all of my um, Gemini. So let's get into it. All right, so. All right, so you have the Hierophant, Strength, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Moon, the Temperance, Empress, Six of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is that I'm seeing how a lot of you right now, um, okay, getting some notifications, but the Hierophant, the Strength, the Nine of Cups, someone was a little bit too confident when it came to you, right? They were, the, the Strength, the Nine of Cups, these are both confidence cards and how the person needed to calm that down. So these people were too confident when they were trying to talk to you. They thought of, they thought too much of themselves. And it's like, wow, how, how are you going to be in a relationship with them when they're sharing two spaces? One person is sharing two spaces between themselves and their ego. And the hard thing is that a lot of you uh, Geminis learned how to manage that. And you, you were able to see things for what they were right so because the hierophant is a person of the hierophant represents on a higher level the hierophant represents a person of of um a, a person who's basically able to kind of keep their ego in check right you've heard me talk countless times of the ego and ultimately the ego is the cause of all problems really you know if not all the vast majority of problems in our lives because it it the ego is what makes us make terrible decisions because we we can't seem to get out of our own way to see the bigger to see the actual bigger picture of, of it so what happens is the hierophant you gemini's were able to you you jump the way that you gemini's interacted with them you wanted to be cool, right? You wanted to actually have a good time with them. And the strength was they, the strength in the Nine of Cups, they didn't know how to regulate themselves down. They had, you know, they had ego issues. They were always trying to compete. Y'all ever been in relationships with that? I've been in relationships with people like that. You know what I mean? I've been in short-term relationships with, with, with people like that. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, very short term, month, two months, because because people who just want to compete and want to prove that they're so much better than you. And it's like, this doesn't even make any sense. You're hanging out with a person whom you're trying to embarrass and compete against. And this is this is the delusion that people have. But that's what tried. That's 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 what happened. They tried to. Uh, hang out with you, even though they would try to embarrass you. The Ten of Pentacles and the Moon, obviously, it didn't work. You stopped hanging out with them, right? And when I say you stopped hanging out with them, you ghosted them. <laughs> <clears throat> Not only did you stop hanging out with them, you literally ghosted them. You didn't even bother trying to tell them anything because the way that you Gemini saw it, you Gemini's probably saw it as them would, they would try to compete with you and try to break up with you first. Oh, this person is going to break up with me. Let me try to break up with the Gemini's first. You know, I don't think we're in a very good re relationship. Listen, I'm going to start, I'm going to start laughing at these types of situations, Gemini. Not because I'm trying to laugh at you, no, but I'm going to start showing y'all how funny people's mentality really is you understand <laughs> people are all over the place yo people are all over the place with their mentality the idea you know the idea of if you really pay attention to how a lot of people move you really get a chance to see how off people really are for the most part and how much they their 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 signature things to do to get people off of their scent trail of seeing just how off they are is to delude other people 
of that. Oh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one who wilding out here. I got money in my pocket about to go pay for my chips, about to go pay for my potato chips. You're the one standing around the store, walking around for five minutes, acting like you're looking around. The store is only about, the store is only about what, 100 square feet, probably less than that. The score, the store, as far as the walkway is probably only about 25 feet. Yeah, 25 feet. You wildin'. You're the one who's bugging. I don't know what you're talking about. People like that. That's why I'm that's why I'm starting to see that a lot of you Geminis are getting it. There's no talking to people who are that deluded. There's no there's it's it's nil. They're too far gone in their delusion. They they they're too invested. That's the correct word. They're too invested in that. <coughs> so <coughs> excuse me. So a person like that, you're not gonna be able to talk to. And you you realize that why bother? And you, Geminis, were correct. I do some of that same stuff too. When I realize that a person is too deluded, I don't even bother. Now, some of them, I do let them know that I don't want to talk to them, right? Directly, so that they can't act like they don't know this or they don't get the hint. It's, it's so funny. It's so funny what happens when people try to make it seem like they want you to get the hint. They super disrespectful or whatnot. And they treat you and they, they lower their class and they got to show you that they have no class and no dignity because they want you to get the, the idea, right? But then when it's time for them to get the idea, they're playing pretty poly. They're pr playing as if they don't get the idea. Oh, I, I'm not seeing what they're so goofy then you have the the temperance right the temperance the empress and the six of cups is you were correct in not talking to them because you realize that even if you would try to do the right thing or the other right thing or one of the solutions would be for you to tell them that you don't want to talk to them again they would make a problem out of that because they're so dysfunctional the temperance the empress and the the six of cups is about as a result of this, you understand what time it is. You understand that you can't take these people seriously. You understand, or you should understand it, right? If you're finding value within this reading, then it means it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. Hold on. It means that it's time for you to come get a personal reading from me. Um, click, there should be a link in the comment section below. Click on the link tree. It'll be the pin comment in the comment section. It'll take you to a website in which it has all of the, my social media outlets and ways you can support me from my Instagram page, my clothing store, from shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs. I'm going to start expanding it to pants. I thought I had pants on it, but no, unfortunately I don't. I'm going to create them. But um, also too, right, um, my private tarot readings, click on it. It'll redirect you to my website has my rates, or I should say my time, how much I charge for the time, um, services where I explain the services. There should be a buy now button and a cash app, cash tag. The buy now button is for PayPal. The cash app, cash tag is for, is for cash app. Um, also too, um, just in case if you having problems with the website, need some sort of directory, my email address, is also on the website as well or you can contact me at kareem spareworks <clears throat> at yahoo.com thanks so the temperance the empress and the six of cups y'all already know what the six of cups is these people are coming in they're going to try to come back try to convince you gemini's that somehow they've changed for the better even though you and i know that we're that's a lie but they're going to come in and try to make it seem like they've changed for the better the temperance and the empress, however, represents how, because you already know, you're not going to take them back because you already know what goes on. You know that what goes on is they're going to come in, try to convince you that they've changed. They've learned their lesson, even though they more than likely really haven't. And you Geminis will get back with them. And you know what will happen? You Geminis would end up being in the same situation that you were in that when you were getting to know them, right? And even worse, because, and I would say worse because now 
they're trying to get back. Now it's about <clears throat> them, excuse me. Now it's about them trying to get revenge. And this is part of the reason why it is that I say, don't go back to your exes. Because a lot of times people won't listen. Oh, I, I ain't listening to you, Kareem. I'm not listening to you. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my ex. Do you know what happens when you go back to your ex, yo? Uh, let me explain to you what happens. Since most people are in the dating pool playing games and deluding themselves, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. People get angry when you dump them or when they dump you and you're not tripping on it and you move on with your life and you continue to function as an as an health as a healthy individual or healthier compared to them people get mad about that so you know what's going to happen people who are deluded that deluded they're going to seek you out again try to get you to come back and then when you come back they're going to get you lulled into into the idea meaning falling asleep to the idea or unaware to the idea that that they're actually planning, even though for a couple of months or a couple of weeks, things are good, right? They're going to plan on dumping you. They're going to plan on that. That's what they're doing. Because again, these people are delusional. This is, and I, see, people really, you, you Geminis really need to get, wrap your minds around the idea that this is what I mean, why I kind of laugh at the trolls. Look, I'm using the trolls as an analogy to show you the, the mind state of a person who acts like this. They're too far gone. That's a person who literally dedicates their time. And like a lot of times people, people delude and talk about no one dedicates that amount of time. So why do you have stalkers? Why is there such thing as stalkers? Why is there such thing as people needing to play games when you Gemini's move forward you live in your life you're doing your thing oh snap you Gemini's move forward you live in your life you're doing your thing you having fun right tell me why is it at that same time when you live in your life and doing your thing these people want to come back these people have an issue with you moving forward they doing everything they they want you to see that they're in a new relationship right by adding you on social media and they want you to see them being in a new relationship it's if you telling me that these people are not thinking about that for them to go think about it gemini y'all are smart for them to go you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and add the gemini back and let them and and you know think you already know that you got a significant other you already know that you treated this person like trash you know that. So why are you trying to add the Gemini back to your social media page? Because you thinking about it. You thinking about, I'm going to go ahead and have a significant other and show the Gemini that I can move on. Meanwhile, you Gemini. And, it, and let me take you down into the person's mind even further to show you how dysfunctional it is. I really wish I could say the things that I want to say here on, on video, but I'm not going to. To show you even more of their dysfunction, right? Think about the, the mind state or the inner values or lack thereof of a person that, that, that takes time out of their day, like these trolls, to do that type of stuff. The trolls are a representative of how they would act in a relationship. That obsessive mentality, the delusion, them not being the brightest bulbs on the tree, them, their mind is all over the place. No matter how much you talk to these people to get their stuff together, for them to do it just for self-respect, they won't even do it. Then when you go, then when you, then when you actually go pay attention to some of these other people's YouTube channels, they're running around in sweats every day of their life. Some of them are obese. They ain't paying attention to their own personal health. And it's like, my gosh, forget about other people. Do it for your own self-respect. That's what these people are caught up in. 
That's the same thing that I'm trying to say about you, Geminis. These people who have this mentality, they're too far gone. There's no amount of talking to them. There's So if you're thinking about going back, there's no reason to ever go back. The only thing that you're going to get is more of the same goofy individual trying to hide their goofiness. And you know they you know that they can't even hide it because the minute they try to hide it, it's like they, they can't stop themselves from doing some monkey stuff. They they just jumping around like a jagabat. They can't they always they're so goofy. The three of the three of pentacles and, and the seven of cups is you got other people <coughs> that are potential dates. Concentrate on those people. There's nothing that you need to know about these goofy individuals trying their endeavor best to get a hold of you again. All they would do, you you, you want to know you want to know if somebody is really delusional. You want to know if somebody is really delusional. Let me show and prove that somebody's delusional. Having a family should make you wealthy, financially as well as love, among other things. So you want to know someone is goofy? Here's the proof. If they have a family, whether it's their immediate family, <clears throat> the family that they were born with, right? Or the family that they created, right? Pay attention to their wealth. If their financial wealth doesn't go up, successfully long term that's how you know that they're living fine that's how you know that they're that they're whack that's how you know they're dysfunctional because wealth is supposed to increase as time goes on that's a natural occurrence nature will take care of you so it goes against nature if you remain poor pay attention <laughs> so let's clarify the six of cups the five of cups oh they feel guilty nine of wands the queen of pentacles and the ten of pentacles right they feel somewhat guilty the only reason why they feel guilty is because you dumped them before they could dump you because they're so goofy the queen of pentacles the ten of pentacles yeah you know but trust and believe they're trying to make it seem like they're so much better no they're not you know how many for instance how many people jump online, talk about the egregiously terrible things that they do to other people, right? To hurt other people's feelings for, for no with no justification. And then they get sad when people don't trust them and don't talk to them and look at them a certain kind of way. That's how out of it they are. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, Trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of June. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Hit the notification bell. Set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace.